that's about as good as it gets. You can see my fingers through there, see? Look at that. Now, <clears throat> this has actually been sitting here for, gosh, at least three, four months. Just um, second conditioning. Probably would have been better if, um, if the temperatures were just a little lower. Um, but uh, I just let it sit for a few months. This is the Golden Dragon from Northern Brewer. And um, it just, I mean, the clarity looks beautiful. My only concern is that I, I hope I didn't uh, put too much yeast in there, but everybody says it's okay if you keep it going as long as I have. The yeast will just activate a little bit of sh the sugar that I uh, threw in there, and everything should be fine. But I guess we'll know. I guess we'll know in a few few weeks. I'm going to store this for two more weeks after bottling it and then uh, pop it in the fridge and start drinking it. Hopefully it's it smells delicious. Can you smell that? Nope. No smell of vision yet. But it smells delicious. And of course I'll get a little I'll get a little taste in there before I uh, before I'm done. But uh, hopefully in another two weeks, I'll be sampling this nice Golden Dragon Belgian. Now normally um, I have kind of like a different setup. Um, I'm doing this a little differently just because I'm not that familiar with the whole Belgian process, so I'm going to take it slow. Uh, the other thing too is I'm bottling by myself, so it's a little bit more difficult. So basically what I'm going to do first, I'm going to fill all the bottles, and then I'm going to... Uh, cork them and then um, cap them. So uh, first, let me just show you over here. Um, I have siphoned the beautiful Belgian into my racking uh, bucket. I have the cane there ready for me to get going with a spring-loaded uh, pressure uh, release. In the back I have, I believe this is the Corona uh, capper bottler. Um, awesome little device. I've already set it for the bottles and I already showed you the bottles. There are the uh, corks and the um, the cages I guess they call them. And hopefully if I do this right I'll have, uh, let's see, I got uh, 24 bottles. So hopefully I'll have 24 bottles of, of brew by the time I'm done with this. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to start the bottling, and uh, that's it. I think what. I'm Okay. Okay, I got 24 bottles and a 12 ounce, and I just tasted a little bit of it. It's going to be pure heaven. So hopefully I'll get this next step right. Next step will be corking these puppies, and I will. Um, I'm going to set it up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, after some trial and error, I think I've got it. So unfortunately, I have to take this out every time. We'll put that in and that sets the cork. Now I have my bottle thing set right. So just basically fit it underneath there. This will pop it in there perfectly. Hopefully. And then 
what I do next is gently... I said gently, but I guess I didn't do that. Bring that out. And hopefully I'm still in shot. And put a cage on it. Tighten it up. And move along. And there you have it. Belgian. Bottled. Let's see if I can grab it from a different angle. So, let's see here. Oh, look at that. I'm learning as I go along. still in the shot. And there you go. Money shot. Money shots.